guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are still here at the Detroit Auto Show 2023 version, and guess what? We had to stop at the GMC booth because of this vehicle right here. This is it. This is your totally redesigned, top to bottom, 2024 GMC Acadia. But before we get into this new look, new style, new tech, midsize SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. GMC is on a roll. They're going through their lineup. Everybody knew that the Yukon was great. They made some awesome changes. Their Sierra lineup of trucks, of course the Canyon. Well, guess what? It's finally the Acadia's turn. And being a midsize SUV, it's not easy today because there's a lot of competition from a lot of different manufacturers. But what I want to find out is, has GMC went their own way and created a perfect recipe for success in that midsize SUV segment with the Acadia? Let's go ahead, let's dive in and find out. Right off the bat, what you're gonna find is a different size vehicle. They talked to their customers, they talked to potential customers, they said they want a little bit larger Acadia. So you have an Acadia that's longer. You also have, of course, an Acadia that is wider. Now, at the front of the business on this Denali trim, which we all know what that means when we say Denali and GMC talk, that's gonna be that top luxury trim. You see the use of LED daytime running lamps. Love the way it curves around and locks into the front fascia. LED headlights. And then as we drop down the ground level, love the way that they brought some LED fog lamps. And thank you, GMC. No fake vents or anything like that. We have nice, clean style with some functional lighting. On the lower portion, you have a little bit of mixture with the gloss black. And then coming across with the aluminum finish, we have that Denali grill. Now, the great news is they've, they've learned from talking to customers, it's not just about shiny chrome. And I like the blending of what they did. That aluminum finish all the way around the perimeter of that GMC traditional style grill. We have a forward facing camera, that General Motors truck company badge, never looked better on the front of any Acadia before this one. This definitely is really making it pop. And then working your way down, you'll notice the black accents and full functionality on the lower portion. Now, as we rise on up, what I like what they've done is they kept the design of the Acadia familiar with the rest of the GMC family. So just like a Yukon, just like even their trucks, I love the way you have this C-shape indentation we come around the bend and underneath the hood, we have an all new power plant. It's a 2.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine putting out 328 horsepower. And guess what? Can tow up to 5,000 pounds. But as we come around the bend, love that nice bold GMC style. Look at what we have for wheels. 22 inch wheels on an Acadia. Perfect machined aluminum some silver accents all the way around. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the tire? 275 on the width, 45 series sidewall. And of course you could get that all wheel drive. I think another thing that I like on this Denali, body color match fender openings. No flat black plastic around the fender opening on a Denali as it should be coming down the side, color matched on those mirror caps. You'll notice we got our 360 degree cameras, turn single slim and trim. We have the Denali name, nicely placed with that body line that runs along the door. And then I really like the way it curves underneath the vehicle instead of coming a little bit straight down. Now from the side, you could see that extra width, that extra length, of course the wheelbase and everything. And then up top, you have roof rails. And what I like about it is they kept the raised roof rail style. So you have a little bit of the gloss black and then that nice aluminum finish, get your crossbars and you can make this the ultimate family traveling vehicle. Working our way towards our rear, great job on the quarter window. We're gonna find out what it looks like for that third row of passengers, the way they flared out the trim, nice aluminum style. And then when we swing it around wide, what do we got at the back? First of all, you're gonna have this nice roof spoiler. You can see the arrow that's been added for airflow, the new LED taillights, Absolutely perfect. The GMC badge, nicely placed. And I like where they're putting Denali. Top dead center, right across the mid portion. This one, of course, has all wheel drive. And then we work our way down. 
Look at the exhaust, quad tip exhaust, stainless steel tips. It, in, a, in a day and age where people, brands are putting fake exhausts on vehicles, it's nice to have the real deal thing. And then of course this cover comes off for your towing. And like I said, 5,000 pounds towing capacity. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what's new for this Acadia. All right guys, we're on the inside. Come on in. We have this new 2024 GMC Acadia. Now I know that you're saying, well, Joe, this thing is blowing my mind. How much is it? No official pricing yet, but I think they're gonna get the numbers right we're gonna find out though, if you're looking for a luxury mid-size three-row SUV, is the Denali version the way to go? Let's see. To the door panels, look at the new style, the real wood finish. No veneer, no shine on the wood. I really like that tasteful look. And then you'll see the aluminum speaker grill covers, Bose sound system, really, really greatly done with the stitching in the center there. And even though I'm not a white interior type of guy, I'm digging it on this particular color trim. Now the door pocket, nice size. You could get a couple uh, bottles of ginger ale in there, maybe some uh, kombucha. And then of course, going from the door panel to the dash, we have the Denali name etched into the wood. And then that great wood finish, the stitching. And look at what they did here. This is different than the Traverse. It's a 15 inch, portrait style infotainment system. Now we are at the auto show, so we can't turn it on, but we will be bringing more of this with the first drive, but interesting to see that they went portrait style. I do like the way they flanked it with the AC vents and some silver trim. You have your radio knob, volume knob in the center, and this will be a full touchscreen. How can you tell? Because I could see some people ate some fried chicken, Kentucky fried chicken and touch the screen. Toggle switches, wireless charging, a place for some Mentos after you're done eating the, the KFC. Wood finish, two cup holders. Love the soft touch material, the white stitching. Down below, look at the space. Enough room for a purse, a purse, a sack, a satchel, a bag of apples. Open it up, what do we got? We got a bottle of water, somebody drank my water. But you have enough room in here, easily put a nice size Nerf football especially if you like throwing footballs, nerf footballs at people's heads like I do sometimes, especially at auto shows, that's a lot of fun. The seats, the Denali embroidery, soft leather, look at all the stitching, look at the piping, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver and a ginormous panoramic sunroof. But come on over here to the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Acadia. All right guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings, love the aluminum Denali sill plate, very nicely done down below. You do have your seat controls, fully adjustable. I'm six feet tall, and what's great is you could feel that extra width and that extra length, and we haven't even gotten to the middle or the third row. Steering wheel, leather, you see it up top. We have Super Cruise, the Denali badge, flat black on all the switch gear. You have paddles for that automatic transmission, the all-wheel drive, and you have a digital gauge cluster. I can't wait to show you more on that. And you see this guy here? We have our column shifter for our transmission. So that's what frees up all the space underneath for that bag of apples or maybe potatoes or maybe Lori's favorite, a bag of red onions. And we have a head up display, but let's get into the mid row and the third row to see what we're bringing Acadia style. All right guys, mid row time. And this is really where you see the continuation of the big changes soft leather, the same exact stitching that we find on the seats up front in the back. Of course, you'll be able to reposition these. They slide, they of course recline. On the backs of the seats, I'm glad they didn't do the white because you know your kids are gonna be eating the hot fudge, caramel apples, elephant ears from the fair, and you're gonna get fingerprints over here. And you could easily put, I would say, a couple elephant ears in here. Lori loves elephant ears at the fair. She also loves elephants, so it kind of makes sense. The back command center, you got your rear AC, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. And that's a zonk to me. Two USB-Cs, home power source, and of course your Acadia GMC fortified Twinkie tray. I like the captain's chair setup. The only thing I don't like, these should be wider. I mean, come on, give me a, GM, a General Motors truck company armrest. But the great news is, like I said, is that you can slide them and you can recline them, which is wonderful as well. So that is a nice touch. And then Lori's actually gonna fold down the mid row. She's gonna show you how easy it is. 
and then you'll see that we have the third row, one side up, one side down, same material as the other rows. There's a USB-C cup holders and all the goodies in the back. They didn't want the people to feel like peasants, but let's go ahead, let's take a look at the cargo area and see what you could haul in the new Acadia. All right guys, cargo area time, real simple. Hit the button, the lights blink, rises up, nice electric assist. Now what I like about the cargo area is look where the loading floor is. You're not gonna have to lift too high to get things into the back seat. What we do is we have the 60-40 split to show you what it looks like when you put the seat down and when you keep one up. And what's great about that action is all the controls are nicely placed right on this side. So if you wanna change anything with the seats, it's actually real simple to do by pressing the buttons. But these are the things that GMC is working on with making usable space, functional space, and giving the people what they want when it comes to the Acadia. A larger Acadia, more horsepower, and definitely more technology. But let me know down in the comment section what you think about GMC and this Acadia Denali. Very curious to hear your thoughts if they got the perfect recipe for this vehicle. But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rides family. Of course, we need to thank Lori working that camera like a champ, as she always does, showing the, her love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.